In 2018, the governors of Tana Papua's two provinces committed to a sustainable development path that would strengthen the prosperity and well-being of indigenous peoples and protect at least 70% of its forests. Tana Papua's forests are more than just tree-covered landscapes. They are complex networks of living and non-living elements that support plants, animals, and cultures found nowhere else. They provide life-sustaining services, like food security and water availability, while protecting people from natural disasters and climate change. Through these forests, a massive road network is being built. At nearly 4,000 kilometers long, the trans Papua Highway is part of a national plan to connect and serve the people of Tana Papua. However, the highway also increases the risk that Papua's forests will be converted from intact to degraded ecosystems, with negative impacts on local communities, biodiversity, and carbon emissions. Studies show that the development that follows road expansion can lead to hotspots of deforestation. For example, the expansion of roads in Sumatra and Borneo over the last 20 years supported the loss of as much as 25% of forest habitat, with most permanently converted to commercial agriculture, like oil palm. In Tana Papua, only 2% of forests were cleared during that same time period. But with the highway nearing completion, that rate is likely to change. The Trans Papua Highway passes through some of Indonesia's most rugged landscapes, from coasts to forests to its highest mountains. In 2009, Kenya was a roadless village surrounded by forest along the Pomats River. Satellite records show that road construction first reached the village from the south. By 2013, it had crossed the river into Lorentz National Park, a protected UNESCO World Heritage Site. The road cut through the park's fragile alpine ecosystems on its way to connect with towns in the north. And by 2020, another segment arriving from the east was nearly complete. As the highway continues to expand, so does the urban footprint of Kenya and other villages along the route. Since 2000, in Tana Papua, new roads and growing towns accounted for 15% of forest loss, a total of more than 115,000 hectares. During the same time period, 120,000 hectares were cleared for industrial logging in the Bambarai Peninsula alone, a dense logging network led to the loss of over 52,000 hectares. While many of these networks are temporary, their scale is extensive. And the vast, uncut forests that remain within lands already slated for logging are at a high risk of degradation or loss. But the single greatest driver of permanent forest conversion during this 20-year period was industrial agriculture, especially oil palm. As seen in Sumatra and Borneo, there is a clear correlation between road construction and the expansion of plantations. Today, all of Tana Papua's palm oil industry is located within 35 kilometers of the highway. Palm plantations account for 27% of total forest conversion. In 2010, roads built near the town of Tamika paved the way for the construction of new plantations. By 2014, plantations near the road were already extensive. But without a bridge to improve access, forest along the western front remained intact. Two years later, with a bridge in place, previously forested land had been almost completely converted to oil palm. Elsewhere, the scale of conversion into industrial plantations is even larger. Southeastern Papua is home to over 100,000 hectares of plantations, 
including some of the biggest oil palm projects in Indonesia. With over a million hectares of forest licensed for future conversion to oil palm or pulpwood. Tana Papua's forests and the future of its sustainable economy are at a turning point. As of 2021, forest loss over the last 20 years has been limited. But as seen in other parts of Indonesia, deforestation driven by unmanaged road development could be extensive. If Tana Papua follows a similar path, then it could experience a six-fold increase in forest loss over the next 15 years. Data-driven models accounting for factors like topography, roads, and existing concessions have identified areas at the highest risk of future loss. Together, these deforestation hotspots are predicted to exceed 4.5 million hectares, an area larger than Switzerland. This loss would undermine the commitment to protect Tana Papua's unique biological and cultural heritage. And it would come at a time when rates of tropical deforestation must not only be slowed worldwide, but reversed to avert the worst impacts of climate change. Infrastructure initiatives like the Trans Papua Highway can benefit local communities by providing access to new development opportunities. But the current path is rapidly opening Tana Papua to large-scale industrial projects at odds with international and local commitments to sustainable development and reversing forest loss. With careful coordination and planning, roads and infrastructure can bring economic growth while advancing sustainability goals and increasing the well-being of the forests and the people of Tana Papua. <laughs>